Shalom everyone and welcome back to the Biblical Hebrew Challenge. Today I am here to share with you another one of my favorite Bible verses, which is from Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. And this particular verse is very near and dear to my heart as it speaks about how God is our refuge and our strength in time of trouble. He's our stronghold. And over the last couple of years, I have been dealing with a lot of suffering in my life. I lost my mother back in 2020 and I still miss her greatly today. And also for the last year and a half, I have been dealing with a lot of health problems which have made my life a bit more challenging. But treasuring God's word into my heart in all of this time of trouble has been my source of strength and joy and my comfort because remembering who God is in my life and what he does, that he is good, that he is my stronghold, and that he knows me if I take refuge in him. This is exactly what I need when I pass through life's difficulties. So I encourage you, stay with me today. Let's learn how to read this verse together. And I also encourage you to memorize it because I pray that you will remember these words when you need them most. Nahum chapter 1 verse 7 Tov Adonai lemaoz beyom tzara veyodea chosei vo The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in Him. This is such a comforting verse and I encourage you, let's learn how to read it word by word together today and also memorize it. Memorize it so that you may remember it when you need it most, so that you may know that when you pass through suffering, through difficulties, through troubles and tribulations, God is good. God is your stronghold and your refuge. The first word of this verse is Tov. Try to repeat after me. Tov. Tov. Tov means good. The next word is the name of the Lord, yud Hey vav Hey. This, I am used to reading it as Adonai. You may read it as Elohim, Hashem, um, Yehovah, Yahweh. Feel free to read it as you are used to reading it. The truth is we don't have the vowels uh, so that we may know how to pronounce it exactly. Also, we don't have a recording from the ancient times, right? So that we may hear and know exactly how it's, about, how it's supposed to be pronounced. There are some interesting theories uh, saying that this could be pronounced as Yahweh. It makes a lot of sense. I would like to share that in a future video with you. But for now, let's just read this as Adonai or Hashem or Yehovah or Yahweh as, as you are used to. Okay, so Adonai, this is how I would read it. Adonai, meaning the Lord. And we know that it refers to the name of the Lord. Now let's put the first two words together. Tov, Adonai. The Lord is good. Tov, Adonai. The Lord is good. Now we have a sentence. We can see that we have no verb. But this is Hebrew. So, how do you say the Lord is good? Tov, Adonai. Tov, Adonai. The Lord is good. Now tell me, how do you say the Lord is good in Hebrew? Tov Adonai. The next word is Le Maoz. Le Maoz. Try to say it one more time. Le Maoz. Le Maoz means a stronghold. A place of refuge or fortress. This Lamed, Le, means four or two. And Maoz, a 
According to Halot and Holiday um, lexicons, it is a mountain stronghold, or a place of refuge, or a fortress. Maoz. Maoz. Le Maoz. A stronghold, a place of refuge, fortress. Be Yom. Be Yom. Be Yom means in day. Be means in. And Yom means day. Yom. Yom means day. Be Yom in day. Be Yom. Tsara. Tsara. Tsara means trouble. Now, if you are new to Hebrew and if you haven't heard the sound tz, think of the word pizza, right? You have this tz in pizza. Now, try to say this tz. Tz. Tsara. 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 Trouble. Now let's put the words together. Beyom tsara. Say after me. Beyom tsara. Beyom tsara in the day of trouble. This is what we call a construct. Beyom tsara in the day of trouble. Ve yodea. Ve yodea. And he knows. Let's say it again. Ve yodea. And he knows. Jose. Jose. This ch might be a little bit difficult to pronounce. Try to say it. Ch. Jose. Jose. Jose means those seeking refuge or those who take refuge. And um, the accent is Jose because I read the verse uh, with the cantillation marks and I saw that the accent is on the first syllable. So it's Jose, not Jose, Jose. Vo. Vo. Vo means in him. We have this vet. We don't have the little dot inside, so we don't have the dagish. This is why we pronounce it like a v sound. So it's v. It means in. V. In. When we have the dagish inside, it's b. B. And it means the same thing, in. And o, this o at the end, it refers to God, to him. So, vo, in him. Vo. Wonderful. Now let's try to read it all together. Tov. Adonai. Lemaoz. Beyom Tsara Veyodeya Jose Vo. Now let's try to read it without any transliteration. Tov Adonai Lemaoz Beyom Tsara Veyodeya Jose. Vo. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in Him. Nahum 1 7. 
Tov Adonai Lemaoz Beyom Tzara Veyodea Chose Vo The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in Him. And the Lord is good to you, and the Lord is your stronghold. He is your refuge. He knows you as you take refuge in Him in your day of trouble. May the Lord God bless you. I pray that this has been a blessing to you as it has also been to me. And if you like this video, then don't forget to actually give it a like. And you can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can also share it. Share this video so that others may also have this blessing. Shalom and God bless you.